In this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps of adding a uh, record in a Dataverse table using Microsoft Power Automate. So I'm in the make.power automate interface and I'm on my flows. What I'm going to do is first I will navigate to my solutions. So it's always a good practice to create all your flows within a solution. I have the solution already created. Within the solution, I click on new and I click on automation. I click on cloud flow and I'll create an instant cloud flow. I'll, uh, I'll just show you what I'm going to achieve in this uh, exercise. I have a table called as companies. So I have already two records entered over here. Now I'm going to add an, another third record over here using Power Automate. <clears throat> now I will create a flow. I'll name the flow as create company, manually trigger a flow, click on create. Now in the new step, what I'm going to do is I'm going <clears> to <throat> search for a data works. Connector. So I select Microsoft Dataverse and I say add a new row. Now, once I do an add a new row, I need to select the table name. Now, my table name is company. So let me see if I can find that. Yes, I can see the company's table. Now, I need to put some name over here. So let me first hard code the name. So I'll just name it as Aldi. And I just save it. Okay. Now, once I save this, now this flow is ready. Okay. So I will test by adding this record in by running. Say first I save this flow and then i click on say test once it is enabled to test this flow Okay, now I click on test and I trigger it manually. Click on test and it will ask me to run the flow. So I'll click on run the flow. And if everything works fine, a record named as LD should be inserted in this table. Okay, how do I check? I just need to refresh this table. Let me go on to some other table and then click on companies. As you see, this record now gets inserted using Power Automate. Now, what if we want to uh, add uh, some sort of a looping uh, within say Power Automate? For that, what I can do is uh, I will navigate to the flow. So let me open the flow here. I'll click on edit. And I'll try to uh, add add a control which i call it as a let me search for control now in control i see something called as do until okay now for that i need some variable so what i'm gonna do i'll add in another action and i'll call it as a variable now in variable first i need to initialize a variable and then i will add another control for a variable for which i will set the variable so i'll set the variable so let's assume my initial variable name is x type is integer and the value is say, uh, zero okay then i will take the same variable and i'll set the value as one Okay, so I have initialized the variable x as 0, 
I have set the variable x as 1. Now I need to run some loop. Now, what I need to do is I need to run this loop, but in that loop, I need to increment the variable as well. So if I click on add an action, and if I put, say, increment the variable, let me add it again, variable and increment. Oh, is there an increment variable? Yes, I have one. And if I select the variable as x as 1, and then I need to move this inside this loop. So add a new row will go inside this particular action. OK, now how do we do this? We just do a drag and drop, and increment variable will come after add a new row. OK, now add a new row. Here, I will make it a bit dynamic. I will add an expression with random values generated between 1 to 100. And I say, OK. Now, it can generate any value, say LD1, LD5, LD100. But what should be the loop value? I'll say uh, I need to put the loop value. So what is my variable? So my variable is x. So x is do this loop until x is greater than or equal to maybe say five okay so technically this should run say four times because the variable starts from one and it gets incremented in one interval so i think everything is done i click on save i say overwrite other people changes and then let me test this. So if I click on test, test manually, and I click on run flow, I should see some record being updated over here. So I will see some more records. Let me refresh this. The flow has run, and successfully I've seen one, two, three, four records being added. So that's how you add or insert a record in Microsoft Dataverse. So this will be a handy tool if you want to populate some records uh, within the Dataverse table uh, for like say, uh, like say if you want to have say 50 records, 100 records for testing purposes, this will be a better way to run some flows and then automatically create those records. So that's it folks. Uh, thanks for watching this video. I'll see you in my next video. See ya.